editing. Are you doing it and doing it and doing it well? A lot of it is up to your own personal taste. The moral of the story here is do you? Typically when we make photos, we don't just do it for ourselves to see, we do it for everyone to see. So it kind of pays to know what the professionals know. So here are my top 5 telltale signs that you might be ruining your photos in the edit. One. Are you over sharpening your pictures? Be very careful when you decide to sharpen your mobile phone image. The reason is that typically most mobile phones apply a ton of sharpening to your image anyway. And when you add more sharpening, you run the risk of looking super amateurish in your photography. What will happen is that you get this awful kind of gritty texture across the whole of your image and that just doesn't make your photos look great. <laughs> <laughs> Be very careful with too much sharpening. Two. Two. Are you blowing out your highlights? If you've started losing textural detail or structural detail, that's not a good thing. Picture this. You're at a wedding. The bride comes wafting down the aisle. The dress, fabulous. Intricate detailing. Being the great photographer that you are, you whip out your smartphone, start taking snaps. The dress, yeah. chiffon, what? satin, what? silk, what? tool, what? organza. Woo! You get back home, start editing on your phone. You whack up the brightness, you whack up the brightness, whack up the highlights. Now, there's no detail in the dress. It's just flat. Flat white, Coffee? like a piece of paper. It's a faux pas, my friend. Faux pas. When your photos get so bright that we need shades just to look at your photos, Security! 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 Three. Oversaturating your pictures? You have been given great power. With great power comes great responsibility. You have been given the power to make your images more vibrant and colorful. Saturate responsibly. You know you've gone too far where you can no longer see clear difference in color tone. Clarity and definition have just fizzled away. Colors appear to be buzzing on your screen. When the picture that you've taken starts to look toxic, like something with radiation, like something that came out of a nuclear power plant. <laughs> Dial it back, bro. Four. Are you over smoothing skin in your portraiture? I get it. Watching blemishes magically fade away is great. It's hard to know when to stop. Again, it comes down to texture. Once the texture starts to disappear, you've gone too far. After all, if your idea of beauty is entirely flawless skin, you might as well just shoot a mannequin. Five. Are you over whitening teeth and eyes? Anything that looks unnatural in your editing will draw attention to itself in a bad way. Ding, 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 ling, ling, ding, ding. Those are the common mistakes that I see people making in their photo editing. If for whatever reason your vision is bigger than the techniques I've discussed, don't feel like you have to be bound to them. At the end of the day, art is subjective, it's creative, try different things, break the boundaries, but just make sure that you do it with intention. If it comes out as an accident, it becomes very easy to see that that was an amateur move to make. So that's my encouragement to you. Remember, it's not how good you are. It's about how good you're becoming. I'm Leo the Visual Magpie, helping you on your creative journey. Talk to me, leave me some comments if any of this has been useful to you. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.